school lets out, tri-state teachers are already looking ahead to next year. WGEM's Claire Edlund is back from Brown County to tell us about what those plans are. Claire? Daniel and Mackenzie, 22 teachers from 13 West Central Illinois school districts came to Mount Sterling today to play with Legos. But it's not for fun, it's for an all new focus on a STEM training program. One teacher I spoke with tells me how this will help his students excel. Press stop down here oh, oh. and test it and see if it works. Home. Uh, Teachers get to be students right now. Uh, go back to home okay. and grab a new project. To combine Lego building with STEM learning. We need to get one of these. Yep. So now at this point, it's showing you how to connect. Colleen Cannon Rufo with Lego Education facilitates the lab. She says it's fun for the teachers. That's awesome. <laughs> which is the whole point. And the teachers are getting hands-on, learning through play, and experiencing what this could look like in their classrooms. Junior high computer science teacher Robert Scheider works with his lab partner on a spy kit. For uh, ages from uh, eighth grade on up to high school, or 12th grade, uh, it allows them to do uh, uh, robotics. He says this is one way to grow the STEM program at the Central School District in Camp Point. What this is to give me is, is uh, first uh, validation that what we're doing in our school district is, is on the cutting edge right now. The workshop takes place at Dot Foods, one of the program's sponsors. It's a program that we, with the help of the uh, Illinois Center for Technology and the Tracy Family Foundation, put together for the teachers in the region. Dot Foods charitable director Susie Pond says it's good for the kids, teachers, and Dot Foods, since they and many other employers' jobs will require STEM skills on resumes. So when we started working on this project, we didn't know much about STEM education at all, uh, so we're learning as we go, too. And Parn says this is the first of four workshops these educators will attend. She says the program is a pilot, but they hope to grow it more. Claire Edland, WGEM News. Thanks, Claire. Parn says the charity has slated $150,000 for the grants for the 2023-24 school year.